Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to do another example of how to use the rule at least one or once. And in this case, we're going to do, th we're going to do things a little bit differently. First, we're going to roll, roll a die twice and find the probability of getting at least one three. Then we're going to roll the die three times and do the same thing, find a probability of at least one three. And then we're going to find out how many attempts we're going to need to get at least one three with a 99 percent probability or prob probability equal to 0.99. All right, starting out with part A, to find the probability that is equal to 1 minus the probability that we'll get no 3 quantity raised to the number of turns that we're going to try. So that's, of course, two tries. We, so raised to the second power. So that means the probability is equal to 1 minus the probability of getting no 3 on any one try, as that would be 5 out of 6 raised to the second power, and so therefore the probability is going to be equal to, that with a calculator, uh, well actually we don't need a calculator, we can just go ahead and say this is equal to 1 minus 25 over 36. Now we need a calculator, so 25 divided by 36, subtract that from 1, and we get a probability, oh let me try that again, 25 divided by 36, and then subtract that from 1, and we get a probability of 0 0.306. Or, in other ways, we could say that this is equal to 11 over 36. So if we want to leave it as a fraction, we could write as 11 over 36. As a decimal, it's 0 0.306. So a little bit more than 30% probability when we try two times with a die that we'll get at least one of those will be a 3. So now we do it again for three tries and see what happens. So for part B, the probability is equal to 1 minus the probability that we'll get no 3 on any one try, but now we have to raise that to the third power. So we get P is equal to 1 minus the quantity 5 over 6 to the third power. So this is equal to 1 minus, uh, that would be 125 over 216. And that would be 91, that would be 91 divided by 216. I believe that's correct. So 125 minus 216, yep, that's correct. All right, so that's how we do it for three tries. Now you may ask yourself the question, how many tries do we have to have in order to be at least 99% sure, 0.99 probability that we'll get at least one three? All right, the way we do it then is we go ahead and use the same equation for part C. So now we write the probability is equal to 1 minus the probability of no 3 on any one th try to the nth power. And now the question is, what is n going to be equal to? Now, of course, the probability that we're trying to achieve is 0.99. So we have 0.99 is equal to 1 minus the probability of not getting a 3 in any one try would be 5 out of 6. 5 out of 6 raised to the n power. Now we have to solve that equation for n. So the first thing we're going to do is move the 1 to the other side. So we get 0 0.99 minus 1 equals 5 sixths to the nth power. Subtracting that, we get minus 0 0.01 is equal to 5 sixths to the nth power. Oh, I forgot my minus there. I can't do that. Let me try that again because it's minus that quantity, so it equals to minus 5 sixths to the n power, and that would be equal to minus 5 sixths to the n power. Now, of course, we can now multiply both sides by negative 1, so we get 0 0.01 equals the positive 5 sixths to the n power. Now we want to get, find out how to, we need to find out what that n is equal to, so the best way to do that is take the natural log of both sides, or the log of both sides. It doesn't matter if we take the log of the natural log. So if we take the natural log of the left side, we get 0 0.01 equals the natural log of the quantity 5 over 6 to the n power. And that's the beauty of the logs, is that you can take the exponent and put it in front. So here we have the natural log of 0 0.01 is equal to n times the natural log of 5 over 6. And now we can just isolate n by dividing both sides by the natural log of 5 over 6. 
and I'm turning the equation around so we get n is equal to the natural log of 0 0.01 divided by the natural log of 5 over 6. Now you don't need to use natural log, you can use log base 10, it makes no difference as long as your calculator can do that. So we get 0 0.01, take the natural log of that, divide by 5 divided by 6, and take the natural log of that, equals, and I get n is equal to 25.26. All right. Now you can have 25.26 tries. If you try 25 times, it won't be quite 0.99 probability. So you probably have to up it by one to get a whole integer. And so that means that n equals 26 tries would be the minimum required to make sure you have at least 0.99 probability to get at least one time the number three. And that's how you do that.